The Little Mermaid Story Welcome to Moonzia on Moonzia.com My dear little friends, I'm going to tell you The Little Mermaid Story. Once upon a time, far and deep in the ocean, where the water is shiny and blue, lived a sea king who had six mermaid daughter. Five of them were happy and cheerful while the youngest one was deeply sad and no one hadn't seen her smile. The little mermaid wanted to see the surface world. She loved to see green trees and blue sky. Because of that, she always swam to the top of the ocean to enjoy the surface world's view. She felt depressed when she couldn't see the above world. Georgios fish, beautiful shells and all the colorful creatures in the sea were always trying to make her smile but they usually failed. Even her father's bedtime stories couldn't cheer her up. One night, the little mermaid swam to the top of the ocean when others were asleep. It was a stormy night and waves were crashing into rocks. The lightning stroked to a ship which was rolling in the ocean. The little mermaid saw a man beside the ship, signaling for help. She swam and helped him quickly. She brought him to the shore and rested him on sands. The little mermaid fell in love with the young man in that short time, so she started to sing a song with his magical voice for the prince. And then she came back to the ocean. She was so much in love with the young man that she couldn't stop thinking about him. So he decided to go and visit the seashore witch and ask her to grant a wish. The little mermaid wanted to dance and walk on the surface world. She wanted to feel the warmth of the sand. The witch! who was cunning and tricky, stirred her potion with an evil smile. I will grant your wish, but I've got one condition, she said. I will give you the ability to walk and dance, but you'll be no longer be able to talk and sing. If the prince doesn't confess to his love for you in three days, your voice will be mine forever. I agree. I accept your condition. But let me tell you about the prince. He remembered one and only one thing about his rescuer, her magical voice. So my little friends, the witch transformed our little mermaid. After she transformed, she went to the shore and sat on the warm sand where the prince was looking for her rescuer. Prince didn't remember our little mermaid. Who are you? Oh, eh. You can't walk? Let me help you. So... The prince took the little mermaid to his palace. On the second day, when little mermaid and prince were sailing on the ocean, prince decided to confess his love to her. But before he get a chance, the evil eels of Tricky Wish attacked the ship. The Tricky Witch who knew this hid little mermaid's voice in a seashell and hung it to her neck, then transformed herself into a beautiful young woman. Then she started singing on the seashore. When the prince heard that magical voice, he was convinced that the tricky witch is her rescuer. So he decided to marry her. But our little mermaid had many good friends. Seals and fish. They decided to uncover a witch's evil plan. They attacked the witch and managed to break the chain of the necklace. Now it was the time. Our little mermaid got her voice back. She now could tell the prince who she truly was. But on that moment, the sun set and the third day finished. Little Mermaid's legs turned into a tail and the witch grabbed her and took her into the deep water of the ocean. The brave prince, who now knew the true story, went and followed the witch and battled her and defeated her. But my dear friends, Prince and Little Mermaid couldn't be together anymore. Because Little Mermaid hadn't legs anymore. She was really upset. When her father, the mighty king of the ocean, saw his daughter in that situation, he knew just what he had to do. He moved his magic wand and gave her little daughter two legs. Soon there was a big wedding on the royal ship. Our little mermaid said goodbye to her family and friends and left the ocean. Her and the prince lived happily ever after.